Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're hanging on the ramp in Melbourne with a Cessna 172. And we're gonna look at the SciTech or Logitech BIP panel and how to configure it in SPAD.next. Let's go ahead, jump into The Sim and get into it. So jumping into SPAD.next, you wanna make sure that in your settings, under devices, under SciTech BIP, that you do have the BIP support enabled. Now keep in mind that virtual power, you have to set up a condition, and if you don't want it turning on and off based on power or something to do with the SIM, you can disable it here so that virtual power is never required. Coming to our panels page, we're gonna come down our list until we find our BIP. Now, virtual power you'll see right now is still grayed out. Even though we've enabled it, because we've assigned no condition to the power button up here at the top, there's nothing assigned for it to track. So we need to associate it with something like, let's say, the master battery. So we wanna add an event that virtual, that um, we want to do device power events, and so this is going to need a condition. So a piece of data that we want it to track. So the first data we're gonna look for is we're gonna type in battery. And if we just go to the SIM Connect values, electrical master battery one, we could also look under the Microsoft 2020, uh, the more extended ones like electrical master battery one and battery two. So these are extended ones because they have indexes because in some planes you ha can have multiple batteries. So in this case, we're gonna go with electrical master battery one and when it equals one, like it is now, we're gonna add a condition. We're gonna go to advanced. We're gonna go to virtual power on and we are going to power up our BIP. So we've now set our first condition. And we're gonna add an event, device power events, add condition, select data, same one. When it's a zero, we're gonna add an action, advanced, virtual power off for our BIP. So that's gonna set our virtual power to off on the BIP. So this is the key with a lot of these types of things is because you can do multiple events, I could make this one plate have multiple color events and multiple on and off events because you can keep stacking these conditions. So unlike previous products where you could only pick one thing that it could do and it was on or off and you had to pick a color. Instead here, we're gonna get to do a lot more. All right, so we're basing this actually off of a request. So when we look at this request, we're gonna see that the first bit plate that they selected for the upper left was AP Master. Now, one of the things that we know is this doesn't know what little physical plates you've placed here. So one of the nice features that was added is you can set the label. So we can put AP master here so that the label is AP master. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an event and you'll notice you can do a scripted event and you can do a color change event. Now scripted events let you do a whole bunch more things like you could use this to track data and fire off other things to the SIM. But for the basics of the BIP panel, you really only just change the color. So when you bring up the color, the event automatically starts to fulfill. So you're picking which device, well, it automatically fills, you want the BIP. And because we were clicked on the first row, first column, which we also named AP Master, that's gonna go ahead and select it. Now what you get is you get a bunch of options. You can have off, so no LED. You can turn the green one on, the yellow one on, the red one on, 
And you can even make the green one flash, the yellow one flash, or the red one flash. So in this case, because we want the autopilot to show up green, based on what that other product was doing, we're going to go ahead and say, OK, we want to make this set green. So now we have to add that condition. So the condition needs to be a piece of data. And we already know that I can look up autopilot. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab autopilot master. And when that equals a one, you're going to see that it will make it green. Now, something that we need to make sure that we do is we have to tell it when it needs to also go off. Otherwise, this condition will set it on. But when it goes off, it doesn't know that it's supposed to turn off. So again, this is pretty straightforward in that we can just change the color. Same thing. We're now going to set an off event for the AP master. We're going to add a condition and it will remember the last thing we were on, which was the master. The default is zero. You click OK. So we now have a condition set up for when the autopilot master will go green and when the autopilot master will go off. And so right now, inside of the sim, if I go ahead and I press the autopilot master button, you're going to see that our plate goes green. And when we disable it, it goes off. Enable the autopilot, it goes on. Disable the autopilot, it goes off. And we're going to move on to GPS. Now, this one's actually pretty obvious. This is the GPS drives nav one function. So we're going to go ahead and we'll skip the other plate just to align them. We're going to change our label and we're going to type in GPS just like he has on the other plate. So now we're going to add an event. We're going to change the color. And now you'll see it automatically followed to row three. Uh, we might as well just start with plate off, add the condition, and now we're going to search for GPS. And what we're looking for is the one labeled GPS drives nav one. And when this is a zero, it'll be off. So now we're going to go ahead. We're going to add an event. We're going to change the color. And we're going to make it green. And same data, which is great. It automatically tracks to it. And when it's a 1, it is now going to track that data. And as you can see, it is green because currently the SIM, when it boots up by default, especially with the working title NXI, it's in GPS mode. We are going to add event. We're going to change the, well, first we'll give it a label. We'll call this one nav mode. And we'll go ahead and submit that. So for this purpose, we're going to follow along with what we think uh, that's supposed to be. But as you can see, it's real easy to change uh, what data is driving it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing now. We're going to add event. We're going to change color and we're going to make that off. And what's neat is this is going to be when GPS drives nav one equals one. That's actually when it will be off uh, because GPS mode would be on. So now we're going to add an event, change color. And now we're going to make this green when our data value of GPS drive navs one equals a zero. So now that we've set those two up, as we toggle between GPS or nav mode, uh, that's what you're getting. We'll call it AP uh, nav. So that way, add an event, change color. That way you can see what it is that will turn this on and off. Uh, as an autopilot example. So we're going to go to autopilot and we're going to go nav lock. So nav one lock. So that's the sim connect value that is going to drive um, the mode. So when it's a zero, 
uh, this will be off and we'll go ahead and we'll change color we'll make it green and we're going to use that same nav lock but now when it's a one and so now we've got our bip so that the autopilot nav is going to come on and off apparently I have to go really far there we go ap nav Awesome. Save my work. So here we are in the sim and we've got our four plates set up so we can go ahead and see how these now interact. So right out of the gate, if we turn off our battery master, you'll see that the aircraft powers off and your BIP will have gone dark because, like we said, that little white power button up there in the corner, that's now basing how it will turn the whole device on and off. Pretty cool. So why is this one green? Well, when we look over here in the sim, we can see that the CDI is set to GPS. So if we toggle the CDI, you'll notice we can now toggle ourselves between GPS and nav mode. So just like we had before, we can toggle ourselves between GPS and nav mode. Now, we don't have the autopilot armed, the master arm. So if we were to go ahead and click on the autopilot button, it goes green and you see our autopilot master plate has also gone green. We turn off the autopilot, it goes out. So does our BIP plate. So that's pretty cool. We've got all that done, and now that we've got ourselves a flight plan, so we have somewhere to go, if we were to go ahead and arm that nav mode, you're gonna see that my AP nav, because we are on the GPS, I'm seeing GPS and AP nav. If you go and you start looking at some of the online snippets in the database, you're going to find some really complex ones where people set up all kinds of different combinations. So you can also learn about ands and ors, as well as putting multiple events on a single plate. Don't forget, please go ahead, hit that like button. And if you haven't, please think about subscribing. And as always, Thanks for watching. Have a great day.